Hey guys, how's it going? It's Zach from the channel Zach Attack, and in this video, I'm taking part in the YPCM Halloween Collab, a project put on by the YouTube Creators and Meetups Facebook group to get everyone pumped up for Halloween since it's basically right around the corner. There are a ton of talented content creators taking part in this event, so be sure to click the eye in the sky or down in the description to check out all of their videos. For my Halloween video, I'm going to share with you some tips and advice on costume ideas you can do with items around your house or in your closet if you're like me and don't have a lot of coin for something flashy because, hey, university is all of your money. The best part about making costumes from stuff you already have is that it's totally free. Well, the thought process you put into actually making things go together the way you want might put in a little time and effort but the end result is always worth it. It can be as grand or as simple as you want it to be. Plus, it's fun to dress up as someone who you normally wouldn't from a well-known movie franchise, video game, or even an iconic childhood character. One character I've always wanted to portray is Harry Potter, which is a simple enough costume on its own. All you need is a solid colored sweater, round glasses, and a wand. Granted, this is an actual replica of Harry's wand, but you can just as easily make do with a stick from your backyard, a pencil, or you can make your own using chopsticks, hot glue, and paint. And if you want to look a little more wizardly, you could wear a cloth made out of curtain, shower, or a tablecloth fabric. This ensemble pretty much goes the same for every witch or wizard in the fantasy realm, except for Luna and Dolores Umbridge. Those two are iconic and simply cannot be dumbed down. With them, it's either go wildly crazy with hair and glasses or wear a lot of pink. Another costume that's easy enough to pull off is Marty McFly from Back to the Future. I've seen this done with both guys and girls, so don't feel that it's gender specific. As long as you have jeans, a red shirt, and a plaid or jean shirt, you should be alright. An orange vest does help you to stand out in the crowd, as well as a hoverboard, but those were not invented with 2015. But again, this is your costume, so you call the shots. And if bringing back your childhood strikes your interest, you can don your best striped sweater, grab a notebook and red pen, find a blue canine companion, clearly not an option in this setting, and look for clues. You can also do this with a green sweater for Mr. Dress Up, a horizontally lined sweater for Ernie, or a vertically lined sweater for Burke from Sesame Street. Funny how iconic childhood characters are the easiest costumes to come up with, but we don't think of them until we're adults. Curiouser and curiouser. Those are just a few tips and ideas on how to make Halloween costumes from home when you don't have a lot of resources or cash available to you. The most important thing to remember though is to have fun with it. These are your ideas, your interests, your passions that you are bringing to life so you can make it however you want them to be. Big shout out to Jessica, Eric, and everyone else involved in the YTCM Halloween Collab project. I cannot wait to see all of your videos. You guys can see them too by clicking their links down in the description below or that little eye in the sky. Creativity is an awesome way for people to express what they truly love and I hope I've inspired some of you to do just that. Create for you first and take joy in the things that you've made. You'll be so much happier if you do. I hope to see you all again in my next video. See you later. Happy Halloween, everybody. Be safe, have fun, and don't get in trouble. Charger, out.